Hello, I'm Sean Kent Hayashi with Salkin Valley Cute and Cuddly Toy Schnauzers. And today we are grooming these little eight week old, today they are eight weeks old, Schnauzer puppies. This one is Birdie, little girl. And we will be doing Birdie in a teddy bear cut. And we've got Brady here. Hi, Brady. And Brady's owners also want him in a teddy bear cut. So as a result, we're going to do the other two in a traditional schnauzer. So this little fellow right here is Toffee. Hi, Toffee. And this boy is Gatsby. And so Gatsby will also be done in a traditional schnauzer. Look at how beautiful his coat is. He could be a fantastic teddy bear cut style as well, but we wanted to show you both. And so we'll be doing him in a traditional schnauzer cut today. I also want to show you this adorable little boy. This is Truffles and he was just groomed in the traditional schnauzer cut. And look at that incredible chocolate color that comes with him. So we'll be bringing you along today as we are grooming these little eight week old schnauzer puppies. So here we are ready to bathe puppies. And Toffee will be bathed in this sink in just a few moments. And we will be using shampoo that we've pre-mixed. So our shampoo that's in this bottle, we've diluted down with water. And then we also have conditioner. So we'll get him very wet and then we'll put the shampoo on and we'll let it sit for a little bit while we give him a massage. So it feels really great to him. And then we'll rinse the shampoo completely all the way so that the water is clear. And then we'll put our conditioner that we've pre-mixed on him and we'll let the conditioner sit for about five minutes. While he's wet, I will also clean his ears with ear cleaner so that he can shake his head really good and get everything cleaned in his ears. Yesterday, my hot water heater, I noticed that it was leaking a little bit. So fortunately for me, I have a really great relationship with the uh, local plumbing company that does this kind of thing. They got right over here yesterday and they are replacing my hot water heater right now, which means that I'm mixing hot water, heat, hot water this way with cold water, but um, that will enable us to get the puppies bathed in warm water today. So that's my intention. And that's what we'll be doing with each of the puppies. So in the next segment, you'll see me blowing them dry. But again, what we're doing is we are grooming some of them in the traditional schnauzer cut, like our truffles here. And we'll be doing some of them in a teddy bear cut. But the next time that you see this little guy in this video, we'll be grooming him to look like this. So here we go. So at the moment, Toffee has shampoo on him. And one of the things I want to make sure that you do when you're bathing your puppy is make sure you get the bum area really good. And so we're getting under the belly really well also. So bum area. And so next I will be putting some ear solution, just a little tiny bit, right into his ears, just to clean them out. And you'll see that he will shake his head just a little bit. This also helps to make sure that if some water gets into his ear, he does not get an ear infection as a result of water having gotten in the ear while we were doing the bathing because the cleaning solution makes sure that uh, everything in the ear is, is good. All right. So these puppies are playing while Toffee has the dryer, the hot dryer blowing on him. And I'll show you what that looks like, but it'll be a little noisy.
Here we go. So you can see we have the dryer over here and Anne is uh, wrapping him in towels and uh, getting some of the excess water out of him while the dryer is heating up. So here's Toffee. He's been blown out now and Anne is going to explain some things about why she blows in the direction that she does. I like to brush forward on the head, particularly if you're doing the schnauzer clip, you want the brow to be forward so that you can clip it and then it's not sticking up. Or if you're doing a teddy bear, you want the head to be nice and full in order to get that round teddy bear look. So it's important to, to comb or brush forward. And then everything else you can just brush through or comb through. And uh, you wanna make sure that the legs are nice and full. You don't want skinny legs on a schnauzer. Yes. All right, well, we're going to show you the next step. And Anne, when you're grooming a puppy like this, what's the next step that you would logically do? We've bathed him, we've blown him dry, he's completely dry, and uh, what's the next step you would do? The very first thing I do is the foot pads. And I don't do the nails because when I'm trimming them with the scissor, I want the nails to be there so that when I'm cutting around the foot, we've got some cushion with those nails. I like to do the nails last, again, to save the way that I'm rounding their feet and making sure that I don't cut too short. Terrific, and you may notice that we've got lots of different clippers here. Um, Anne has some preferences about which clippers she uses. So Anne, which clipper would you use for clipping out the bottom of the pads of feet? I like the wall clipper and I set it on the highest setting, which is a 15. So this happens to be an adjustable blade and it goes from 15 to 10, uh, actually 15, I guess 13, 10, seven, and five. But to do the pads of the feet, you want a close cut. So the higher the number, the closer the cut or the clip. So I put it all the way to the right and that's a 15 for cleaning out the foot pads. Terrific. And if you are an at-home groomer, in other words, you're someone who wants to groom your puppy yourself, I highly recommend that you watch Amy Lee's upcoming video. Let me show you what I mean. Amy Lee is the Go Groomer, and she has a channel on YouTube, the Go Groomer, where she shows you step-by-step -step how to do this. And this coming Monday night, she's going to be doing a session on how to, or, or on the differences between all these different clippers. So we bought all the different clippers that Amy Lee recommended, and this is the Kinshi Flash, which I love. And I usually use this one when I'm doing sanitary trims on puppies. But Amy Lee is going to explain in an, in an upcoming video that she does, uh, um, a public session where you can join in and, and hear her, learn from her. She does this every other Monday night. So again, if you are wanting to groom your puppy at home yourself, the actual techniques you can see on the Go Groomer channel. But here now we're gonna show you a one of the foot pad trims that um, Anne or I will do. Now I know I was doing some work on him, uh, I think yesterday, and I may have done some foot pad trim work on him. Nope, not that one. Let's do it. Let's do it. Great. So, um, would you like, I'll do it or? I can do it. Okay, go ahead. I like to hold them in a way that they're, I hold around their waist so they're secure. And then trim right along the foot pads. And just between. It's actually tickles. If you ever have a, a dog that's sleeping and you tickle their foot pads, they'll they'll kick because they're they're ticklish there. And that's one of the things 
things that I highly recommend is when you're sitting with your dog on the sofa in the evenings, perhaps, uh, watching your favorite YouTube channels, it's a great idea just to play with the pads of feet. And you see me doing that with puppies regularly. Well, we will do all of the pads of his feet, and then we'll come back and show you the next step in grooming this little boy like a traditional toy schnauzer. So you'll notice after clim or trimming out the pads of the feet, uh, Anne used the brush to rake up the excess hair, and then we pulled that out of the brush and threw that in the trash can. So Anne says that next what she's going to do is the sanitary trim. And so here we go showing you what the sanitary trim looks like. So we used a 15, the tight, close clip on the foot pads, but now you don't wanna do that too close on the sanitary area because you can cause a razor burn. So you move it over to a 10. That's what you do for the sanitary clip. And you just come inside here, just inside the groin area. I can hold him up. Okay. You got him. So you're doing the groin area for the sanitary clip. And that's just lightly, it's not pushing against the skin at all. It's just very light to get the excess hair out of there. And you wanna do that because when they urinate, that little string of hair holds the urine. So you wanna get that off of there. Now I also usually, could you, um, pull him up again, just show his belly again. The other thing that I typically do when I'm doing it is I'll take this up quite a bit so that um, we don't get extra urine pee up in the top part there. And then the other thing that I like about that is it also helps with brushing, combing, etc. so we don't get mats in that area. So I can hold him. And then we do the rectum. You go on both sides, just about, I want to say an inch, but it wouldn't be an inch on him. That would be his whole bottom. So just on both sides of the rectum, and you can do the bottom of the tail, just to get it nice and clean. I like to do the bottom of the tail because it also helps with when they're pooping, we don't want to get poop into the bottom of the tail. All right, so there's what the sanitary trim on an eight-week-old little schnauzer looks like. So we've done the pads of the feet, we've done the sanitary trim, and I'm guessing, Anne, the next thing is now you start to shape out the body. Yes, All and right. so we used a 15 on the foot pads again, the 10 on the sanitary clip, and now we're gonna go all the way down. This is, this is the longest blade for a miniature schnauzer. I would not go any shorter than a five, and we're on a five now. All right, and I'm going to just pull the hair away the way that Ann did before, just to show you what that looks like so that we get the hair out of the way. There we go. And I save the head for later because there's a lot of work to do to the head and the face. So I just start at the base of the neck and just come right down. Woo it tickles. And we say, good boy because we want him to know that he's being such a good boy, that this isn't gonna hurt, that this is all good. Now, and we use yes here in our training. So we would be saying yes, yes, yes good job, yes, yes. Yes, good boy. Now, so as not to leave a hula skirt on a, sh a miniature schnauzer, you actually can turn the skin and the hair so that it's, so that you're pulling it up and then you drop off. You drop off. You drop off the coat so that when you let go, it's going down under and that's what you want. And then you can clean it up by going back over it. But you don't like to see a line. That's not appropriate. And then you come down off the muscle. You wanna expose the rear muscle, leaving skirts in the front of the thigh, matching up your lines like this, exposing the shoulder, 
but leaving the chest hair. Yes, Toffee. Nice. Yes, Toffee. Yes, what a very good boy. Yes. And we're going to turn him around. So I'll pull that hair. Oops. That's a little hose from my fluff uh -huh. dryer. And look at all this hair. <laughs> ah. mm. And the other thing that's happening is we're starting to see his real color. So if you go back and look when he was born and the first couple of weeks after he was born, he turned very red. But given what I was seeing in his growth patterns, I had a suspicion that he wasn't going to be a red schnauzer. And we're seeing proof of that here. I think he's going to be more honey colored. Hang on. Yes. Yes. Yes! And again, we're going to pull the skin tight so that we get the hair lifted and we're going to just drop off. Just like that. Just like that. Toffee. And then just drop off. Okay. Yes. Good boy. Yes. And then clean up your line. And it's not uncommon for us to take little breaks when they've had enough. And so that's one of the nice things about doing grooming at home yourself is that you can take little breaks when the puppy's had enough. So if he starts showing signs that this is enough for right now, we will give him a break and we might even move on to bathing one of the other puppies and then coming back if we needed to do that. But we are definitely getting the feel for a little schnauzer here. Look at this. <laughs> it's nice to have a mirror, too, to be checking your, your lines. Did I go too far on one side, not far enough on another? And it appears this side could go a little bit lower compared to this side. And of course, we have to get this angle just right, right here. And again, you want to sort of swoop. That's how you don't cut those skirts off. Yep. Yes. Yes, good boy. Yes, good boy. All right, I'm going to turn this off for a moment and we'll come back shortly. I'm going to do some cleanup work. So we gave him a little break and now Anne is just finishing cleaning up some things. I like to turn their skin so that you're not going down their spine. So if you switch their skin both ways off the spine, you're not going down the spine or potentially hurting them. All right, so now we're gonna do the head. All right, I like to start back here and just kind of give a swipe over the ears. Good boy, yes, yes, yes. It's loud, isn't it? Yes. And then looking head on. We don't want to go too far, so we go gradually. Because you want to leave the brow. Yes. Good boy. Yes. Good boy. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. So we can move around and just do it slowly in little bits and pieces here so that uh, he's having an enjoyable experience, or as enjoyable as he might be able to. He has had clippers um, run over his body pretty much daily since he's been a little thing, but this is the first time he's getting the full groom. So then I like to move the eyebrow out of the way because in order to set that eyebrow, you need to come against the grain under the eye. This is what sets the brow and it sets the beard. And then we go back and clean that up. And we're starting to form the beard. And be very careful with the ears because there is a flap on the underside and that can be cut. So you have to be very careful when you're doing the ears. 
And then again, setting that brow, you wanna go from behind the eye back to the ear. So look at how he has come along so nicely. Oh, we have a little schnauzer here. So Anne is going to scissor around the bottom of his feet and some of the leg trim that needs to be done and we'll show you what he looks like when he's all finished. I wanted to show you what he looks like finished, groomed as a toy schnauzer. So in this traditional schnauzer cut, you can see how adorable he is. What a cutie patootie. And he did fabulous on the grooming table, as you can see. Yes. Toffee, you did a fabulous job today being groomed for the first time, getting the whole groom. So here's what he looks like all the way around. And now I'll show you him with his siblings so you can see the difference between the schnauzer cut and what his siblings who haven't yet had it look like. And here they are playing together. There's Birdie. And I've integrated the little puppies in with the larger puppies so you can see them together. In the next video, I'm going to groom this little boy right here in the teddy bear cut. So I'll do that as the next video that I release after this one. I'll also do birdie in a teddy bear cut so you can see that as well. So more to come. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Follow along. Hope you're enjoying what we are doing here at Saucon Valley Cute and Cuddly Toy Schnauzers. Thank you.